From a spare bedroom at her flat in Glasgow, Jade has become an online phenomenon. Average game probably lasts max like half an hour. Her Facebook live stream now has more than 20,000 followers who come to interact while she plays the game Call of Duty. The gameplay is kind of a side aspect, something to watch, but really it's more about conversation, chatting to people, and that's kind of how I go about it. Jade used gaming as escapism while doing her law degree, but from user donations and ad revenue, it's now so lucrative, she says she's earned more in the past year doing this than she would have as a trainee solicitor. Money aside, I'm way happier doing this than I would be in a law firm uh, and I think that's what it really comes down to and I know that myself that I've found something that I'm passionate about and that I enjoy and I never had that for law so really I'm dropping it for something that I feel better in. This is Lucas, the 20 year old from Irvine was an aspiring racing driver until the soaring costs put his dream on hold. Now the virtual world has got him back on track. I think it was 2018 the, the F1 eSports series was really coming along and I tried to qualify for that and managed to do so. Um, and then, yeah, just got the, got the bug um, to really try and make this, you know, my career, my passion. And uh, yeah, from 2019, I've been competing full time in the series uh, competitively. And Lucas Blakely has played things to perfection. Last season, he won his first race and went on to finish third in the championship. Lucas Blakely takes the opening win of the year. He's used that profile to get back in a real car, making his debut racing in Formula Ford at Knock Hill. Inspired by that, I've taken to the same track in the virtual world, getting faster all the time, but not ready to give up the day job just yet.